Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take non-default eyes and turn them into default eyes for The Sims 4. So these are what the current defaults look like. And I'm going to show you how to create replacements. Now for this tutorial, you're going to want to download Sims 4 Studio. And you're going to want to download some non-default eyes. I have gone to Sims resource and I'm going to find some default eyes to download. So for example, these here, I'm going to download. So I'm going to scroll down, click download and save them to a folder. So I'm putting it in a downloads folder. I created a folder called eyes. You can put it just anywhere where you can easily find it. Click save. Okay, so the next thing you'll want to do is Go back to Sims 4 Studio. Here where it says CAS, you want to click Override. That's very important in order to make these defaults. Click CAS, and it will start loading. And then once it's loaded, you'll see a screen where you can choose what you'd like to create in your package. So here at the top, we're going to click Part Type. Scroll down until we see eye color, which is here, eye color, perfect. Okay, so now you'll see all of these icons. These first icons are for the default eyes, and then you have some for vampires and mermaids, as well as werewolves. So you can do this for all of them. For this particular tutorial, we're going to just start with the default human eyes. So you want to, on your keyboard, click Shift and click. Okay, shift and click. If you will click one by one, it'll only select the, the individual ones. And you'll have to click through all of these. So shift and click will select multiple. Okay, so once they're all selected like this and then showing up highlighted in blue, at the bottom click next. Then, you'll navigate to where, to your mods folder. So Sims 4, mods, and it's usually under documents. Documents, electronic arts, Sims 4, mods. Save this in your mods folder as default eyes and click save. So remember, you have to save this in your mods folder for the Sims 4. Okay, so now you have your default eyes package and what you want to do is close this by clicking here file main menu and click my projects here at the top right after you click that you'll want to navigate to your folder where you originally saved the non-defaults so again i saved it under eyes and so now i'm going to select that package okay so now we have our package with our different eyes. You can export here as a PNG file, and you just have to go through and individually export each one. Once I'm done exporting all of those particular files, I will now go back to my projects here and navigate back to my mods folder and click on default eyes. That was the original package we created. Um, you click here, import, and then you navigate to where you saved your eyes and you import them. And you see now it replaces the eye. And you just go through and you do that for each of the eyes that you saved. Click save. So I've just done the first two just to show you what it looks like if you don't do all of them. You want to make sure you go through and replace all of the eyes um, that you want in the game. Okay, and now once you click save, you can exit and go back into your game. Okay, so now we're back in game and we're going to just see what the search sim that's generated. Okay, so now you'll see they have the default eye replacement for those brown eyes. Now, the ones I didn't replace still show the original eyes. 
So that's why you want to make sure you go through and you replace all of the eyes. But these first two now have those defaults that we made. And again, you can do this for those vampire eyes, werewolf eyes, any eyes you find on um, online, you can use those now and turn them into defaults. And any sim generated in the game that have the same eye color, NPCs or um, sims you create, anything you've created as a default, they'll have. Anything you don't create as a default will, re will retain the original. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.